Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole Adias and I'm with Prospect to Win. On this channel, I discuss cold calling and sales strategies for getting in the door more effectively and efficiently. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. So today's topic is dealing with common responses. Many people avoid picking up the phone because they don't want to hear all the objections that they have to face. So these are the top three common objections people hear. The first one is, I'm not interested. Second one might be, we already use company XYZ, have no need for your services. And the third one is a flat out no before you had the opportunity to finish your sentence. So if someone says to you, well, I'm not interested, and they just cut you off, there's not much you can do. But if they say, I'm not interested, you can find out a little bit more and just determine, are they really not interested or is it that they're just trying to get rid of you? So if they're really not interested, they may have had a bad experience. If you could somehow, either through the original call or through the next call, find out what that bad experience was, then believe me, they'll listen to you because you're learning more about them. People want to feel that you care about them, not that you're just doing a sales pitch on them. So that one might take a little bit of work and time. On the initial call, I always tell people, don't worry about what the response is right off the bat. Just keep at it and stay in touch with people. They will warm up to you that way versus you know trying to force somebody to keep talking to you on the phone. Because I've seen this happen way too many times and it's just, it, it bombards people. People don't want to hear it, they tune you out. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You can always come in as well when you hear an objection, oh, we have already working with XYZ company. You can come in and say to them, well, that's great. I just wanted to speak to you and maybe provide additional information. I'm glad it's working out for you, but here is where I can come in and provide more information. I can come in as a second opinion. If you go in that way, you're basically telling them that's great. You're happy for them. They're doing well with their current vendor, but you have something new to offer. And then finally, thirdly, if they say, no, I'm not interested, then in your mind you think, okay, next. No means next, but it doesn't mean next forever and you're not going to tell them next. You're going to say, oh, no problem. Thank you so much. And in your mind, you're going to say to yourself, next, but I'm going to reach out again in about six months or a year. Why? Because decision makers change and you have a brand new start. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Adias and I'm with Prospect to Win. Please subscribe to my website at www.prospecttowin.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your take if you agree or disagree with this information today. I have an upcoming program on the top five tips for effective cold calling on Wednesday, September 8th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd love for you to attend. The information is below in the description box. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe below.